Happy Valentine 2016. This is Sassy Sarah coming to you with a do-it-yourself project that was inexpensive and is, has actually helped me to be quite organized. Um, my daughter has a medium size of a collection of stuffed animals and they were not quite contained anywhere. They were just kind of taking up one of the sofas and just kind of piled up and um, I needed a way to kind of bring this all to order. Um, and she has a toy basket which holds the majority of her toys but the stuffed animals were either too large um, and there were just too many of them to all be in one basket. So after starting to look around and do some research and talk to my sister who has kids, um, the first option that was presented to me was the zoo. And the zoo is a large cage, it's like from the ceiling to the floor. Um, and this cage basically is kind of the same concept. You stick in your toy and take it out. Uh, however, I don't have the square footage for the zoo. Uh, neither did I want to pay the sticker price on that, which was about $175, $180. And I was just like, there's no way that I'm going to pay that price. I'm not even paying $100 bucks for, for storage. So there was no way. So... Um, the second option that was uh, that I found was the the um, the net or kind of like the hammock that could hang in the ceiling, and you could put all the toys in it, and uh, it could look really cute, just kind of hanging off in a corner somewhere of the room. And I was really looking at that, and I considered it. However, um, after thinking about it, I didn't think that this was a good option for my family. Uh, one of the things I'm really trying to teach my, my daughter, and she's only three years old, is that, you know, you can play, but you need to clean up after yourself. I do not clean up after my child when it comes to her toys or her crayons or any of that stuff. Uh, she needs to do that herself. And so um, she's aware that if she takes out toys, she is going to be the only one responsible to put them back away. And so I needed to find something that, number one, was going to be off the floor and not take any square footage for me at all. Number two, that was going to be accessible for her to reach, take out, and put back her toys as well. And so this is the quick option that we came up with. And very easy and very inexpensive. Uh, we started off with two laundry baskets that were purchased at it's either Dollar Tree or Walmart, something like that. You can find them anywhere. Um, my husband basically drilled five holes on the top five holes in the bottom. He purchased this uh, string or kind of um, it's kind of a, a nylon string. Uh, reminds me of shoelaces or sneaker laces. Anyhow, it doesn't matter what kind of string you purchase as long as your child's not going to cut their hand on it. Maybe like um, just getting ribbons or yarn or um, just any any string, uh, uh, even twine, um, but that might be a little rough. So just consider whatever it is that you're gonna you're gonna purchase and put in. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just as long as it's something to hold the toys back. Um, once he put the strings through them, he just knotted them up on the top, knotted them on the bottom, and drilled the actual basket into the wall. Um, and so I guess you'll need a drill, you'll need some screws or whatever anchor to hold this, and you'll need the ribbons. And then he actually bought actual decorative ribbons, um, just so that it can look cute for my daughter. Um, and so right now, it's really working well for us. She's able to pull her toys out, she's able to put them back um, without asking for our help, and everything is contained. So um, I'll give you a quick closer look laundry basket. That's it. That's all that it took. And it's really helped us out a lot. Now, you don't have to use a laundry basket. You could probably get some crates. Um, just anything to basically help you get organized. And I only spent not even more than 10 bucks. So hopefully this helps you. Um, leave me any comments that you may have. And um, happy creating.